Hi everyone and welcome to Sticks and Stones Wood Carving. I'm Kevin and in this video today I'm going to discuss uh, patterns a little bit. I'm going to make a series of a couple of videos because I'm getting a lot of questions about patterns on the channel. All right, How to use them, where to get them, how do you apply them to the wood. So we're going to cover all those things and this is the first video in that video series coming up that we're going to post this week. All right, So stick around and I'm going to show you eight different ways to obtain your own patterns to use in your wood carving projects or other projects that you might want okay now before we do start the video and you do like it make sure you subscribe click the little bell icon that way when we do put out a new video each and every week you can be notified and keep up with what's going on with the channel so with all that said let's get to the video number one you have to learn to draw your own patterns now there's plenty of patterns on the channel that I've covered already you can go through these videos step by step with me and get some ideas, learn how to draw the patterns, practice, practice, practice. And I'm going to put a lot more videos like this on the, the YouTube channel. So first things first, try to learn and get better at drawing. Number two is take lots of pictures. I can't stress this enough. The more pictures that you take, the more subject material you'll have to make your own patterns. There are plenty of programs out there, like GIMP here, which is a free program, where you can actually go in, take a photo that you actually took yourself, so you're not using somebody else's, and you can manipulate that photo and turn it into a pattern right there in GIMP, or at least make it more transparent so you can trace it on a piece of wood, and you'll be able to have nice original pictures in a ways that you, you just won't, wouldn't be able to get it like out of a book or something else, especially if you're interested in certain subjects, okay? And I could do a video on this later on down the road and show you guys exactly how to do it. I mix GIMP with another program called the Inkscape. And that's how I made the patterns in uh, the pictures that were shown in the beginning of this video. So we'll cover that in a future video about this also. Another thing you can do is to use coloring books or coloring pages. There's a lot of free online coloring pages like this one here where you can just go in and surf around and find even up to uh, Disney characters if you would want to get patterns for those. The coloring pages make great, great patterns. All right. So don't forget these free online resources. The next resource you can have is wood carving books. There's plenty of great wood carving books out there with great pattern resources in them. All you got to do is Google it. Just Google wood carving books or wood carving pattern books, and you'll come up with a whole bunch of reference ideas and books, how to books on carving, plus books packed with patterns. And also, I recommend them a lot on this channel, so make sure you. Tune in now and then and uh, see the recommendations that I have, and I can show you some of the pieces in the book and see if you're interested in those also. There's also line art and clip art sites you can go to. These sites have a lot of great ideas. They have a lot of line art you can use for patterns if you want to carve things in the round or if just relief things that you want to put on a sign or maybe a craft, okay? So don't forget that you can search these things up and get lots of great ideas. There's lots of free ones out there. Be sure to utilize them. Okay, another way that you can obtain some patterns for yourself is to take screenshots. Every computer has a print screen button on it. Push that print screen button when the picture's up, and then you can open up that picture in a imaging software like this is a free one I use called InframView. And once you're in the program, you just hit Control V on your computer and it'll bring that screenshot up. And you can edit by copying and uh, uh, cutting it out and then pasting it in a, in a new program or just edit it right in this program. All right, and you'll have yourself a pattern. Next one is you can always pick up my pattern books. Uh, I've been making patterns for a long time. I have a couple published works. I'm a lot better at it now. These are older books, but they are available to you from this channel. Just look for the links below. And the last but not least, uh, this last resource is how to draw 200 
animals. This is a great resource I found online a little while ago, and I use it a lot. Uh, you get over 200 animals that it only takes six to eight steps to draw them, and you can have a ball with these things, and you can put these patterns of, uh, of the finished drawings on anything. So I really recommend checking that out. Uh, you get bonuses with this pack where you can learn how to draw many other things and improve your drawing skills and have hundreds of patterns to play with, uh, especially if you're into doing animal carvings. So I hope that helps you out as far as obtaining some patterns to carve. You should have plenty of resources now. I'll put some links in the description if you want to check out some of my books or any of the resources here that are free or the program about drawing animals. So check that out and definitely let me know how it works out for you and make sure that you check the next video because the next video that we're going to do is going to be about how you can make your own pattern once you do have your own picture, your own photograph or a drawing that you've made. All right? And I'll show you step by step how you can make the patterns and then we're going to work in uh, into uh, putting them on the wood itself to make our carving. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.